Welcome to the 40th anniversary kickoff of the Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. The Jackson Hole Ski Corporation was founded in February of 1963. The Crystal Springs Ranch, which we now sit on, which is 166 acres, 1966-67, a total of 62,000 skiers enjoyed uh, some absolutely famous skiing uh, here in Jackson Hole. But more important, it really established the big mountain, big snow, and began the tradition of what we are today. The airlines, the 1970 Frontier Airlines began to fly into Jackson Hole. The airport looked a little bit different then. And of course, in 1986, everybody took a big gulp and guaranteed the first American flight direct to Chicago. And so from that point on, it really changed the character of our resort and our community. July 19th, 1992, the resort was sold to the Kemmerer family. That period of 1996 and the master plan approval launched an unbelievable period of investment here in Teton Village. The Bridger Gondola, Tiwanot, Operate Vue High Speed Quads, five fixed grip lifts, snowmaking, skier services improvements, the Bridger Center, Cody House for the Kids Ranch, uh, and Fort Wyoming. Truly has changed the character of this resort. On June 24th last year, we announced that we would be host the last of the approximate 9 million riders on our iconic tram this fall, October 1st to be exact. This was a difficult decision for our board to make and certainly more difficult message to communicate to the passionate local and regional and national ski enthusiasts. The decision was preceded by 18 months of thorough analysis of every component of this lift. The announcement was made to share with locals and visitors alike the imminent plight of our legendary tram. This brings us fast forward to today. The success of this past season, together with our 40th anniversary, allows us to honor our past and to celebrate this milestone. We are honoring our 40th by continuing our unparalleled investment for the future of Teton Village, Jackson, and the state of Wyoming. $14 million is being spent this summer. The highlights, a new lift to the summit, it's called the East Ridge Chair, 600 vertical feet. It has uh, 500 uh, passengers per hour capacity. It's a double chair, but really designed for extreme conditions and wind. In addition to that lift, we've added additional capacity on our gondola, the Bridger Gondola, uh, added 18 uh, cabins that will come in this fall. That will change the capacity uh, on the Bridger Gondola from 1,800 to 2,400 passengers an hour. That's about, that increment is about double the capacity of the existing tram, just to put that into perspective. Uh, and Thunder Chair, we're adding 16 more chairs to take that capacity from 1,400 uh, to 1,656. The Bridger Restaurant, located at the top of the Bridger Gondola. The restaurant will open underline will open Christmas of this year. I'd like to uh, introduce Jay Kemmer, our chairman. It was a short 14 years ago that uh, I had mentioned in a speech that we had acquired a diamond in the rough. That diamond is beginning to show itself today. Um, an example, of course, is quality accommodations with the Four Seasons, Airline seats that are primarily jets, they're stable, they're well managed, and they're supported by you all, our community. Our uphill capacity is greater this season than it was last year. Uncrowded slopes and a new quality restaurant for a summer and winter experience. So what's missing? What's missing and what really is bringing us here today? You heard about our decision to decommission the tram very difficult for your board and now of course we're here to officially announce a huge step forward the rumors at the local barber shop were true we're here to unveil a 100 passenger garavanta tram
subsidiary of the Doppelmayr SeaTech company, Garaventa is the preeminent builder of aerial tramways in the world. There are two 100 passenger cabins with a capacity of 650 people an hour. It is a jig back reversible like the current tram. And you might recall the, the, the uh, passenger capacity of our current tram is about 60. So we're going from 60 to 100. We'll use the same alignment and we'll start building the towers and the top terminal next summer. It'll take two summers to complete. So it'll be done by December of 2008. The total cost of the project is $25 million US. And it is financed in 100% internally. So this is a big deal for a rather small company. This year you're getting a 20, or $12 million restaurant and within two years you're gonna get a $25 million tram. We need your assistance we need your loyalty, and we need your support. You can help in little ways. Invite friends to come during the next two critical years when we won't have a tram. Season pass holders, you are key. Stay with us, help us. Ride the new East Ridge lift. Enjoy our restaurant, enjoy the mountain. That's our request for all of you. Our focus the next couple of years is going to be on these two huge projects to see them successfully completed.